Hey guys and welcome to Mechanic Task Guide Fertilizers. For this you need to find 5 wires as well as 5 capacitors. They have to be found in raid or made through the hideout or through the scav case. You can also get them on scav runs and they do count towards this task as well. If you are having difficulties finding them in raid you can actually make them with the level 1 workbench in your hideout. They're not actually that expensive realistically. So in your workbench to make the capacitors it's one power supply unit and screwdriver you get eight and then for the wires it's two power cords. They don't cost an awful lot but you do means that you will have to wait a long time but you can find these items in PC blocks so I will show you a decent route on interchange that you can run to loot the PCs. Okay, so now we're on interchange. We are going to actually start off on the idea side. Most of the PCs are actually on the opposite side of the map, but we'll start from here and work our way around. So when you're in idea, what you want to do is head to the left and head to the back. And there's this little room right here. And there are three PCs in here. You have one right here. You jump over on this side. There's another one right here. And then the final one is round the back, just there. Now, what we're going to need to do is actually head into the Goshen offices. It is a bit of a run, so let's speed it up. Okay, so what we need to do is go through these doubles doors. Bear in mind, when you are by idea, that is a high... Um, traffic area so you do need to watch out for PMCs and scavs. Okay so what you're gonna do is enter the second door on your right hand side and you're gonna come into an office. There are a few PCs inside this room you got one right here, two, three, four and around the back right here, five and then there is this little office tucked away in the corner inside here is six. So that's six possible spawn locations. Now what we're going to do is once again we will need to speed it up but we now need to go to the opposite double doors on the other side. Once again be careful of Goshen because there is definitely a lot of hiding spots and definitely a huge scav spawn location as well as PMC traffic. So I'll speed it up again. Okay, so this is the other set of double doors right here. This is again the Goshen offices. Enter the back at the top here. And you got one PC right here. Two, three, four. And then five. There are five in this room. That is it. So now. Once again, I'm going to, have to speed it up again, but we are now going to go and head into Ollie. Ollie, I would say, is the best place for PCs. So if you get this side of the map spawn, obviously this map is uh, this route is reversible. So if you do spawn on this side, it is a lot better to actually get the PCs. So we are coming up to the front of Ollie right here. You have the escalators directly in front of you. If you do spawn Ollie's side, then this will be a better route. So, just left of the escalators, you have this room that says exit. I don't know why that is lit up as exit, as there's no exit in here. But, you do need the office, uh, the Ollie Logistics Department office key to get inside this room. There is one PC in here. And then once again, there's a PC in here. Follow it along. Another PC inside this room right there, fallen over. Then head into another back offices. You can see this is the entrance to Ollie right here. Once entering this location, you got one door, two door, turn to the right, three doors, and then you got a PC right there, PC right here, and a PC right there. Now what we're going to do is actually head to the back of Ollie, but there are a few locations you can check on the way. So where we see these information desks, there are two PCs. You have got one right there and one 
in that corner. And then you have an information desk right next to the cash registers down here. Just remember that this is a very high scav spawn location as well as there's a lot of good loot around here like Texco and everything. You can get a decent amount of you know PMCs over at that location. So you've got a PC there and a PC there. Then there is another information desk along the back. You can see it just sticking over on the right side directly in front of us. You can see a PC just popping in right there and then another one here. But that is not it. So what we now want to do is head into the back offices. So that's the entrance of idea, uh, sorry, uh, Ollie right there. And then all the way to the back, you have these double doors. What you want to do is enter the right double door and then turn right straight away and then turn left. And then you have got more PCs inside this room. One, two, three. Then go back into this hallway, turn right, go through the double doors. Crazy weather. Turn right at this double door. And then you've got a door right in front of you, as well as one further up. And then in the back, none right there. You have one here. Another one. Three. So there's three inside this room. And then the final room to check is this one with the door that spawns open. We have a PC right here. A PC there. PC here. So that's three so far. And then four. Yep. So guys, that is my route for interchange. So hopefully you'll be able to get what you're looking for in that single run. There is a huge amount of PCs, well over 20 plus just in the Oli side, I'd, I would have guessed. So you should definitely be able to get your item quite easily. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting 8 a.m. GMT. Also, we now have a website that has all of the information on my YouTube channel in one location, which will be in the link in the description where you can navigate it very easily and find what you're looking for. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.